Today we had the worst nightmare a, a school district could um, could encounter. We had a school shooting here at Rigby Middle School. A student opens fire, hitting two classmates and a staff member. Police respond quickly. Students rush to safety while worried parents look on. Tonight, just what happened and the latest on the investigation. Well, tonight our team is standing by for our full coverage. Rachel Fabby is at Rigby High School. This is where officials took students after the shooting started. Linda Larson is outside Rigby Middle School. That is where the shooting actually happened. Uh, we will get to them in just a moment, but first an update from a joint press conference this afternoon. Jefferson County Sheriff Steve Anderson confirms tonight the shooter is a sixth grade female student. Anderson said during the four o'clock press conference that multiple agencies are looking into the background of the case as well. We don't have a lot of details at this time of why uh, that is being investigated. We're following all leads um, and we will go from there as far as uh, if there's going to be any more suspects involved or a reason of why this happened, we will um, relay that to you when we have that information. Well, Sheriff Anderson says the suspected shooter is a student at Rigby Middle School but lives in Idaho Falls. Right now, authorities are searching the girl's home in the Shamrock Park area. This is part of the joint investigation. For tonight's team coverage, we want to go first to Linda Larson. She has uh, the status of the three victims. Linda, what can you tell us about their condition? All right, so currently two of the students are still in the hospital. They were hit. One of them is going to require some surgeries. They want to keep them overnight just to make sure they're okay. The third victim, a janitor at the school, was treated and released from the hospital. But really the big hero of the day today is a teacher who was able to disarm the girl who had the gun and hold her down until police got there. Police say that because of her her heroic actions, many lives could have been saved. Here's what it looked like earlier today. The police response was fast and from all over. Two students and a staff member injured. We blurred this photo to protect the victim that's being loaded into the ambulance. The students were led to safety while police did a sweep of the building. They made a quick arrest of the student with the gun, but terrified parents gathered while they tried to get a hold of their kids. Lucy was in the classroom when she heard the gunshots and all my friends and I were freaking out and we were hiding in the corner of our classroom with the lights off and the doors locked. She wanted to tell her story, her father standing by her side. The Jefferson School Superintendent was on the scene right away and working to reassure parents. Today we had the worst nightmare a, a school district could, um, could encounter. We had a school shooting here at Rigby Middle School. The students were led single file once it was safe to the high school okay, guys. where they were reunited with their worried parents. The parents had been told that if they hadn't been notified, their children were okay. Police from at least 10 agencies and the FBI are now collecting evidence to try and piece together what happened. They've got 3D scanners that they put into place. There's also surveillance video from inside the school building of the actual shooting. So police are going to take all of those things as well as interviews and the evidence that is found at the girl's home before they make any decisions on charges that could be filed. And so we are going to be at least several days before we know any more information. The girl is now in custody. All right, thank you so much, Linda. And following the shooting, parents and students had tearful reunions. Now, Rachel Fabi is standing by with more on how parents and students are handling the situation even now. That's right, Bree and Todd. It was an extremely emotional scene here at Rigby High School today as parents and students reunited after the shooting at the middle school. Through my whole, uh, my whole life, I never thought I'd ever have to go through something like this. So, yeah. Parents were running errands or working when they got word something was going on at Rigby Middle School. My phone started blowing up from my other daughter, and she wanted to know if, if Marin was okay. And I said, I, why wouldn't she be? She's at school, and she said there was a shooting 
and I was in a store up the street and I just dropped everything and I just ran out screaming there was a shooting at the school and I drove over here I was only half a mile from here and I drove over and just jumped out of my car and started running I work from home and so I was just in a meeting a video conference and my wife texted me and told me there was a there was something happening at the school. She said it was a lockdown. And as I, I headed over to the school, she said that there was three people that may have got shot. Students in the school first thought it was a drill. Like, wow, the principal's gotten more creative with these lockdowns, making fake noises and stuff. But this time it was real. Or a woman on the intercom had already said it's a lockdown, but then she repeated herself. And for some reason that just made everything more urgent. We were freaking out. Uh, a few kids were crying, and I was trying to rub. Uh, I, some kid was sitting next to me, and I was trying to rub his back, make him feel better. We didn't think anything of it f at first until we heard footsteps in the hallway, and then we heard a police siren at the first part of it, and that's when we started realizing it was real. And we sh it was really emotion. It was an emotional roller coaster. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Um, but I'm just glad we're all safe now, other than the three that are going to, I know they're going to heal from this, and I hope that everyone just stays safe from now on. Madison and countless other students and staff used their phones to let their loved ones know what was going on. I texted everybody I knew. <laughs> I texted to see if she was okay, and I didn't know what was going on. So your mind goes to the very worst place. <laughs> I'm there's a relief that your daughter's okay, but someone else's isn't. So that's just as sad. <laughs> Hugs between kids and their parents, and parents comforting other kids. I was just hyper focused on getting here for her. And then once I found her, then we began to just help other kids, like telling them everything was okay and kids were breaking down and I was, hugging them and telling them that everybody lived and everybody was okay and and just basically just helping them with their trauma. Now the schools will be closed tomorrow. That's for all Jefferson County schools from the school district. Their Facebook page also says that counselors will be available all day tomorrow, eight until four here at Rigby High School. Class will resume on Monday, May 10th. Live in Rigby, I'm Rachel Fabby. All right, thank you so much, Rachel. Well, after all that's gone on today, the Jefferson County School District posting to its Facebook page, quote, we want to thank the community for all of your support. Tonight, the Bonneville County School District echoing their own support, saying, quote, our hearts go out to our friends, neighbors, and family members in Jefferson School District 251. They go on to say that principals and school counselors have been notified and will be ready to provide support to students who may feel a heightened level of anxiety or fear from this tragic event. Please let your school know if your child may need to talk or time to talk through their feelings. Even in times of crisis, we want to make sure that all of our students continue to feel safe, connected, and cared for." End quote. Snacks, bottled water, and soft drinks may also be dropped off at the Upper Valley Child Advocacy Center. That is at 162 North Yellowstone Highway in Rigby. Tonight, the community is showing strength and support for one of its own. The GoFundMe created only hours ago was more than halfway to its goal. This money is being raised to help pay for Jim Wilson's medical expenses. He is the Rigby Middle School custodian who was shot trying to protect students. We'll be right back.